Hello and welcome to another video from Hammy Value Tech Review. In this video, I just want um, I want to show you I have uh, taken apart a digital multimeter uh, because I got it uh, out of Lidl. Um, I'm very happy with it. Just wanted to want just want to to show the construction of the meter it, it, itself. Um, fairly happy as I said with this meter. It cost me ten pounds uh, out of Lidl. Uh, in uh, the UK here, um, it's a power fix. Uh, I don't know if you can see that there. Uh, my camera is going to focus. Power fix. There it is. There. And it's a power fix. PDM two fifty A two digital multimeter. Now. I've just taken it apart and uh, uh, the, the first thing to note I suppose is this here it comes with this uh, fairly thick rubber uh, uh, sort of uh, rubber protection case uh, real nice quality to it quality feel and it has a, a kickstand built in and that's, uh, that's the kickstand there and it has, uh, you know, uh, for for testing, it, it, you can store your leads in here, um, and you can use them to, uh, you know, for for hands-free testing of something, you know, you can eat as well. Um, I have to say about the leads themselves, very good quality uh, leads. Um, they're sleeved the whole way up there, and they seem to be of quite nice. PVC um, and they're rated for category 2 250 volts 10 amps so, so this is only a category 2 device but uh, I mean uh, it's fairly happy with the leads you can see the the, 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 the cable relief on the, the, the leads there good cable, cable relief um, so that's the leads themselves very happy with them um, the meter itself um, has when I took it apart, uh, this is the front of it. Uh, taking the, the uh, circuit board off, this and that shows you the contacts. And we have two ball bearings. Uh, see one of them there and one of them there, and uh, some nice uh, copperized contacts. Uh, so really nice. And in here we have uh, actually have sleeves. Um, uh, these are sleevens that you can uh, pull out or push in. Uh, the coloured sleeves, as you can see there, um, are in there. The overall construction is very good, very solid um, meter. Uh, just uh, the the back has silver. Let's see here. Somebody else can explain this. Oh, let's see. Somebody can explain what that is all about uh, to me. Um, I'll have to figure out how to put this all back together again. Um, so, somebody can, uh, some sort of shield, uh, I don't know what that is, RF shield, but what I do really notice is, I don't know if this will come out on camera, um, if you can see the, you see the, the lip, it's a, it's a blast shield, and there's a lip on the other side too, so you have some fairly decent, um, uh, you know, blast shielding, um, if anything, yeah, it goes wrong. Uh, <laughs> any mishaps, so that's very good. That's quite safe. Um, as I say, for ten pounds, it's looking it's looking good so far. And um, this also has a kickstand. Uh, the uh, the meter itself. Um, the circuit board uh, is quite. I think it's quite neat. Um, I don't know if I can. If you can make any of that out, it's quite a neat circuit board. Um, we have the fu the fuses there. They aren't strictly the right fuses. I have replaced the fuses, but they're uh, as I say, this is only a category two uh, device. So it's an F10 10 amp fuse and a uh, an F250 milliamp uh, 200 250 volt fuse. And they're both quick, quick blow uh, fuses, 
Um, so we have, we have various components here. We have uh, we have some. Uh, I might use this here for. Uh, I'll use some screwdriver. With some of these components, we have uh, some of these are. Uh, um, these are uh, diodes, three diodes, with a lot of resistors, a capacitor, more resistors, and a whole bank of resistors, much more resistors, and more resistors yet again, and a lot more uh, capacitors and resistors, and another diode, and a few of these wee tiny packages, uh, transistor packages, don't know if that's coming out in the camera, and there's a pot there for, uh, I guess, uh, uh, ultra tuning it, you know, uh, refining the the dis yeah the the display. The display itself is very nice, glass quartz, uh, quite nice. Uh, this track does appear to be, I'm not going to say gold, but it's uh, it's copperized. It could be gold plated. Um, there's the meter just going on there. That's your on off switch. I have another uh, another uh, PTC and a capacitor. Uh, what I can say is it's very very neat the construction. There's a couple of I mean there's a couple of hand soldered bits. The the two buttons are hand soldered, and uh, uh, this other pot is hand soldered uh, too. Uh, but the construction is very good. It it, it uses a nine volt battery. Um, so fairly impressed with it. Um, I will sort of set it in here and uh, just let you see the features um, that it has. Uh, EEV blog will probably tell me something different, but as far as ten to ten ten pounds is concerned, I am fairly happy with it. Um, so say the construction is good. Um, I'll just try and turn this around now without. So on the meter itself, we have. Uh, oh, better make sure this goes in. On the meter itself, we have um, a whole range of. Uh, I don't know if you can see all these, the range of stuff. Uh, the lighting in here is not very good. We have a range, a whole range of stuff. Um, I'll try and zoom in here. My my camera will ever uh, focus, please. Let's see, I'll focus on this. It does not want to focus. I'll turn it this way. How about that? Yeah, we'll turn it that way. Now, what you can see is you have your volts. Um, your voltage um, DC. Your voltage DC here. And that goes from uh, 200 millivolts, 2 volts, 20 volts, 200 volts, and 250 volts. Uh, then you're into your AC, 250 volts AC, 200 volts, 20 volts, 2 volts. Uh, you have the your amp setting, you have your two micro amps, or, and then you have uh, 20 micro amps, 10 amps, and 200 uh, setting there for your amps. Um, that's amps AC. And then you have your amps uh, DC, so you have 200 there, and you have 2 M there, 20 M, 10 amps there, and 200 M. I uh, hope this is all coming out in video. Um, you also have two settings there, you have a for a 9 volt battery and a 1.5 volt, which is quite strange uh, to have. Then you have that's a continuity test there with the beeper, uh, the sounder, um, which you, you've seen on the circuit board there. Um, you have a, a diode test, um, so it looks like a diode test. Uh, two two K resistor test, maybe it is. 
20k, this is old resistance, 200k, 2 mega k and 20 mega k uh, resistance. So that's it, you have a hold function there and a nice big clear large display. It's not backlit but it's a very clear display as I will quickly demonstrate now. Uh, just bear with me. There, as you can see, the display, it's, it's displaying one, but it is a very big, clear display. So that sort of concludes my review of this multimeter. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, okay, bye for now. Oh, I should just point out, it also has a the, the, the cheap... Uh, uh, blob, chip, chip on blob, you know, uh, package and uh, that's fairly uh, normal for these kind of uh, multimeters also that's your sounder there and uh, a couple more things uh, that there is your 10 amp reel, you know, so the, the, the connectors themselves, I know are split an EEV blog will, will not be happy with that, but they are split split pin, but they are of a very strong metal in behind the actual contact, so and I really don't see any problem with this meter at all. It's quite nice for a Category 2 cheapo. Thank you. Bye.